Hello there, and welcome back to another video, and today I will be reviewing LEGO set number 31024, Roaring Power, from LEGO Creator 3-in-1. Now this set has 387 pieces and zero minifigures. Now when I say I will be reviewing Roaring Power, I mean I will be reviewing my version of Roaring Power, which is this. Now, I bought this off eBay for 99p, um, I know, how could I spend so much money on Lego, um, but I bought it second hand and it was incomplete, but all in all, 99p for a Lego set with over 350 pieces, nearly 400 pieces, is great value. Anyway, enough about this, today I'm going to build this and I'm going to wrap it up into a very quick speed build. So here is the completed build and I'm not going to spend long rambling on about build time but mainly because I didn't time how long it took me to build it but I will say this it was a very enjoyable build and um, so yeah I'm just gonna like I said just jump into the jump into the review so I am going to start at the front of the car um, purely because I don't have a reason for this uh, just I think that's a good place to start so um, I'm going to start off down here there's some nice shaping uh, and these grill pieces look good on the front uh, and then these lights were very fun to put together because it's actually uh, these are actually um, together with Technic pins and then that's a cheese slope but they give it a really nice shape for the lights um, and I mean that is that's where the Technic pin goes into but I think it adds some nice colour variation and I think it looks good Anyway, moving a bit further back, but not much further back, you can see that there's this bonnet, um, or hood, but I'm not American, so I'm going to call it a bonnet. So, as you can see, there's this bonnet, uh, and you can see there's a little gap underneath. Uh, you can't really see into there very well. Um, but, thankfully... Although there's nothing in there, Lego have thought of this because you can actually open up the bonnet. But as I said, there's really nothing in there. But it's nice that they included that. Moving round to the side of the car, uh, you can see again that nice shaping for the lights. Uh, and then it just has a very good aerodynamic shape I mean I don't know much about cars but uh, I do know that it's best if they're aerodynamic because then they can go faster speaking of going fast this car can't because the tyres are touching some of the pieces I think or they're very close to touching it and also it's just not really very loose the axle so if you push it it'll stop very soon like you can push it quite hard and it only makes it that far uh, but 
I really like this decoration and it's just these pieces I don't I don't believe that Lego makes them anymore but they just clip into there and they add so much to the overall look of the car like if Lego don't make them anymore I don't know why because they are so cool like it's just such a great piece to use in cars uh, and then there is also this door and um, uh, you can take the roof off and look inside but that's not very good for your minifigures to get inside even though there aren't any minifigures that come with this but once again Lego have thought of that because you have this opening door uh, now when I actually bought this set for the extortionate price of 99p uh, I did know that it was incomplete and I did know that one of the doors was missing but that wasn't too bad because I then just went and made it uh, but then when the set actually arrived I found out that I hadn't built the door correctly because I hadn't included all of the pieces so then I had to go and search through my Lego again anyway Speaking of the roof, which I know we weren't, uh, you actually have to take it off in a specific way. Like, if you take it off from the back, it brings up these windows. And also, if you take it off from the side, it brings them off as well. So what you have to do is you have to take it off from the front, and then it leaves the windows. That's just... I don't know what's stopping it from being... I don't know why the windows don't hold on if you lift it up from the front, but I'm not a Lego expert, I'm just a fan. Um, and then it also has this really nice shaping. Again, I don't know anything about cars. I probably should have done some research, uh, but I didn't. I think it might be to, like release air to cool the engine down but again I don't know I'm not smart with cars um, and then round here there's this nice shaping coming down from the roof uh, and back to this spoiler so round the back there is this spoiler which I was just telling you about I'll just fix the car uh, yeah it's literally just four pieces uh, now practical wise I don't really think it'd do much because again I don't know anything about cars but I believe that spoilers only do anything if the air can reach them when it's going at speed and it's to like keep the car on the ground I think uh, please correct me if the comments if I'm wrong uh, and please say so if I'm not wrong uh, but yeah I think that like the air is supposed to be able to reach the spoiler so they could have made a spoiler that's like right up here but then that wouldn't look very good having this tiny little thing like on little thin tiny little poles holding it up above this great big bulky car uh, so I do think it's more just for decoration but yeah please do tell me if uh, cars do work with us if spoilers do work if like the height of the cars higher than the height of the spoiler uh, but then uh, it also has these nice brake lights uh, and these are the same piece as the headlights on the front just a different colour as you can see so I mean you could uh, like I'm just doing this to show you that they're the same piece but look uh, you could have yellow brake lights I don't think it looks good full stop uh, but if you're really into yellow brake lights you can have yellow brake lights uh, I don't think it'd be legal um, to have brake lights that aren't 
red, but if you really want to, you can have illegal brake lights. Now, there's also these exhausts, uh, and that's some really clever part usage. Now, it's exactly the same, the decoration's exactly the same on both sides of the car. Uh, but one thing I didn't mention was this here. Uh, and I think that's like some sort of light thing. Uh, and then there's also just a cheese slope on one of these modified one by one pieces, one by one studs, uh, to show like a wing mirror. And now it's time to move on to the interior. So the seats are very simple constructions. Uh, it's just hard to get in there. Uh, it's just these ratchet joints uh, on some more ratchet joints. Uh, and then there's also a tile in there. Uh, it's quite hard to see, but it's just a simple construction. Uh, there's two of those in the set because of course this is a two-seater vehicle uh, and it's also very near to minifigure scale um, if I just get mini me you can sit me in and I won't stay there but uh, that's a proper-ish look uh, it looks quite good but as I said I won't really stay there. Uh, and then on the other side, uh, there's the same seat, but then there's also this steering wheel on a clip, uh, and that's just attached to a bar. But the steering wheel on the clip uh, is very effective because you can angle it up and down, but also you can see there's a hole in the steering wheel and if you just poke the clip through a bit then it looks like the car has a horn that you can beep like that little thing in the middle you can like pretend that's a horn uh, and then down here you have the perfect place to lose a key and you'll never find it and this car is actually quite heavy for its size considering it's just over the size of my hand in length and width and my hand isn't very big uh, and it's not very tall either. Uh, this thing weighs about 291 grams for this quite small thing. It's quite small for such a big weight. Because, uh, like, let me just give you a bit of perspective. The Harry Potter Brickheads plus Harry. 83 grams The Mythical Creatures Dragon 111 grams The Hogwarts Express 249 grams So let me just give you something some knowledge This car which is nowhere near as tall it's a bit wider uh, and not as long weighs about the same amount as the Hogwarts Express. Now just think of that for a minute. That is just so strange to think that these two are so similar in weight. I mean if someone gave you them you'd say that this car is heavier uh, and that's purely just because of like the size, it's heavier for its size because this one does weigh more but it's bigger. Uh, so 
it's just I just think it's a bit odd to think that two things so different in size are so similar in weight and this one is also like full of open space which also helps you think that this one's heavier uh, but anyway we're not here to talk about the Hogwarts Express we're here to talk about this thing and I'm just gonna say it there's not much talking left to do so all in all I think this is a great set it's a bit of a shame that they didn't include any minifigures although now that I put a minifigure next to it I realize how different in size they are so this thing is not at all minifigure scale goodbye mini me um is completely fine um no minifigs were harmed in the making of this video uh, um, anyway uh, i like the nice racing stripe that goes over the top uh, it makes it look quite sporty um I don't know anything about cars, so this is completely just based on what I know, which is nothing. Uh, like, about the spoiler, again, please comment below. Um, and, yeah. Uh, I like how they have two windscreens. I don't think that was a design choice. I think that uh, at the time they didn't have a four by uh, an eight by three windscreen but I think it looks good with that little line in the middle and also they did need one of them they do need one of them for the seaplane anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you next time mm -hmm.